1,200 metres then for race set number seven. Final three races ahead of us at Happy Valley. And they're all class threes as well. Shining Gem heads the list uh, here. Runner up last time out behind Winning Method. That was back at the end of March. Super Dobby makes his Hong Kong debut. A grade three winner out of South Africa. Beauty Migo is a last start course and distance winner. Victorium won last start course and distance as well. From a wide gate, gets a wide gate once more. Wind and Grass, still a maiden after eight starts. Joe Moreira jumps on board for John Size. Diamond Brilliant, Zach Purton. Down to his minimum here. Might be looking at some overweights. He's behind Young Legend last time out. A Nordic Warrior fourth last time out behind Kaying legend. He also comes up with barrier number 11, Mark. And Andrew, the speed map has Diamond Brilliant from barrier number two bouncing out to lead. Victorium coming over from the wide gate to sit outside him. Big Fortune can utilise his draw to follow the leaders on the rail. Hanson Rebel is very consistent in a pace profile and should be in close attendance once again. Uh, Letoua has been finding the speed a bit sharp for his liking and looks most awkward for Beauty Amigo from race uh, gate 10, Paul. Yeah, young legend, the first one here. He's a last start winner. He did win nicely. He gets the claim as well. Uh, Danny Shum, uh, the trainer, and he, the horse goes nicely enough. Uh, Victorium, he's a last start winner, Victorium, and he's held his form nicely on the training track. It's been uh, pretty good. He's, he's drawn a bit wide, but he's got some gate speed, so should be able to come that uh, wide draw. And uh, Le Tawar, I think this horse has picked up. It was a better run from him last start, uh, and he's down to a, a, his last winning rating as well. And I didn't mind his two gallops leading into this race as well. So he goes, he's going better. All right, we'll straight into the replays here and we'll start off with the winning run of uh, Young Legend, Diamond Brilliant, Beauty Amigo and 7th C. Danny Shum goes to Victor Wong, who's only actually carrying one pound more than he carried on this night to win. Yeah, so with that uh, claim, and look, he's, he, everything's going well for him. Diamond Brilliant was there to be shot at, and he was. Uh, Beauty Amigo, now he came out and won on a, on a wettest track last time. So he has backed up from that. But uh, look, it was a nice enough win from Young Legend there, Mark. It was, and uh, should be fitter for that run too when they put plenty of money on that night. So it'll be interesting to see if the money comes again for him on Wednesday. All right, Victorium, also a last start uh, winner. Um, he had to overcome barrier number 11 at Chartin. Joe Moreira rode him here. Gets barrier 12, though, on Wednesday night. Yeah, that's the key for him, isn't it? The uh, wide barrier draw. But he has got the gate speed to overcome it. He is, he's a nice horse, this one. He's won three times from his 10 starts. I think he can get across as well from a barrier number 12. Antoine uh, Hamlin will pick up the ride. He's a strong rider. So I've got him in the numbers. Yeah, I had him in too. He's just so consistent. Apart from those uh, three wins that Paul mentioned, he's got three placings next to his name from 10 starts too. He just doesn't know how to go a bad race. All right, OK. Last one. Actually, no, we've got two more horses to talk about here. Let's uh, talk about, though, Shining Gem. He'll be ridden by the informed jockey and Vincent Ho. Vincent Shining Gem, he's won twice this season. You've been on board for his last couple of runs. How's he going heading into Wednesday night? Yeah, he, he's really fit, um, trial nice. Um, and last run he drew bad and, you know, on the outside, but back last and still came home second. So, uh, you know, uh, now better, better barrier. So hopefully, hopefully he can win, yeah. Looking at that trial and also his last run, he doesn't look that quick in the early stages of the race. Can you have him a bit closer from a better draw this time, though? Uh, yeah, we'll try to get him a little bit closer, but you know, we, we still can't change too much pattern of the horse. Um, he, you know, he, he'll, when he hit the tray, pick up by himself. You know, so, um, but definitely with a better draw, we don't really want to lose too much ground. And you refer to that trial from him leading into this race as well too. He missed out an intended start due to being lame. How did he feel with his action and all of those sort of things in that trial that you rode him in? I think it was just a minor thing. Um, his action was fine when I rode him, when I rode him at the trials. Um, so I, I think he's all right. Yeah. Sunday was a significant day for you. Congratulations on winning the Champions Mile on Southern Legend. How does it feel to be a Group 1 winning jockey? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it, it's amazing. You know, uh, Group 1. Um, so just, you know, keep pushing and hopefully more to come next season. That's a super win from Southern Legends uh, for Vincent and Casper Founts, of course, downing the champion in beauty generation. Uh, we'll keep moving on, though, because we've got one more horse to look at, and that is Super Dobbin. 
whose name was Twilight Moon when he raced in South Africa. And he only raced down the straight in South Africa as well. He was a Group 2 winner at Turf on Temple. Yeah, yeah, he raced as a two-year-old there. He's been here for over a year. Oh, he hasn't raced for a year now. He's 1,091 pounds. He's had two trials. Uh, this trial was OK leading into it. I, I'd like to see him race, though, first, so I haven't got him in the numbers. Yeah, I think you just might need a couple of starts just to get used to even racing around a bend, especially at a tight circuit like Happy Valley. Come up with Barrier 9 as well, uh, Super Dobbin. Our favourite, though, is the aforementioned uh, Shining Gem. Paul, who do you like then? I like one at a price here, Led to Wire. He's a four-time winner at Happy Valley. I think he's back to some of that form, so he's on top to beat uh, Victorium Diamond Brilliant. Both been running well recently. And at Shining Gem, we just heard from Vincent as well. Six, five, nine, and one. But I like six as an each-way price here. Diamond Brilliant, uh, for me, you know he's going to be in front, so you're going to get a run for your money. Zach's aboard, just a matter of if they can run him down in the last 50 metres. Shining Gem, he looked good in the trial, but he did miss that last start with that lameness issue. Five, Victorium, and three, Young Legend, nine, one, five and three. Yeah, I've got the one, five and nine included as well. Also, Wind and Grass, um, 1,200 again. I still think he needs further, but Joe Murray jumps on back on board. want to keep him safe too. That's race number seven.